after about 10 days, he came back and his skin condition improved about 30%. Less shedding of his skin at the front of the scalp. I added one herb in there and it helped the back of the ears, but it took about six weeks to improve. Psoriatic arthritis you could think of as a person having both psoriasis and arthritis. The arthritis component has got to do with rheumatoid arthritis, the psoriasis component is psoriasis. Both are autoimmune diseases. My name is Dr. Mark, I run a Chinese medicine clinic here in Singapore. I treat psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis using Chinese medicine. Patients come in responding in different ways. Some people have almost magical improvement, some are more intractable, and for some patients, the psoriasis does go down until about 5 to 10% being left, usually as one lesion instead of many. I just want to say that Chinese medicine is able to help you with psoriasis. And wherever you are in the world, do seek out a practitioner who practices Chinese medicine dermatology. He or she may be able to help you. And you will likely know within two to three weeks of using the herbs. This patient came for about four months. He is in his 40s. During the time before COVID and during COVID, he went through a lot of stress and emotional pain. And that is important in autoimmune condition. There may be no proof of that, but we see it consistently in the clinical setting. Before the pandemic, he was stressed and he was presenting with alopecia areata. The lesions were at the back of the scalp and also around his beard. And then there was a terrible emotional trigger in the middle of COVID. And that is when it all started unraveling. There was in fact two back-to-back -back emotional triggers. His parents passed one after another, one year apart. So initially it was a scalp problem, scalp psoriasis. And then after that he started feeling his joints swelling and becoming painful, his finger joints. Later on the pain spread to bilateral knees and ankles and his sacroiliac joint. The psoriasis began spreading from the back of the ears to the front of the scalp, to the lower back, to the calves and to the back of the thighs. With the rheumatologist, you'll be looking for indicators like RF positive, high ESR, clinical presentation that your rheumatologist would say, hey, maybe we can diagnose you as rheumatoid arthritis. He was given MTX and steroidal injections and also painkillers. They all helped him bring his pain levels from a 9 out of 10 to a 4 to 5 out of 10. But the skin did not get better. In addition to the emotional triggers, his skin would take a hit whenever he used a vaccine or booster shot. Just to share, because he's from South Asia, he also used homeopathy, and homeopathy helped him. Come on, this guy is not a believer in anything, he just wants to get better. And for homeopathy haters out there, I don't understand how it works, but it works. Not just for him, but for some of the other patients coming in who come for different reasons. Homeopathy helped him with joint stiffness in the morning, he knows as a patient because after using homeopathy, when he woke up in the morning, he did not need to warm up his joints so that they feel less stiff. He stopped having joint stiffness when he awoke. This guy is a vegetarian, no seafood, no red meat. So in terms of food triggers, much less for psoriasis. He came to see me to help him with his skin issue. He did not come with any rheumatoid issues. So we treated him solely based on his psoriatic presentation. After about 10 days, he came back and his condition, his skin condition improved about 30%, 30%. Less, what he calls less dandruff on his head, uh, less shedding of his skin at the front of the scalp and the lower back. His back of ears, no improvement yet. Lesion on the right shin area improved by about 10%. Itchiness reduced by about 5 to 10%. He says that some of his beard alopecia also improved. But this time around, because of some other stress issues regarding work, he reported that his right iliac and his right knee joint was hurting. This tells me that the rheumatic component has sort of come back a little and for that we changed the formula slightly to address that. He comes back three weeks later. He says the joint pain has gone. No pain in the hips unless he lifts something really heavy. The front of the scalp is improved. Less shedding, less angry redness. The back is less itchy but the redness and the plaque is still there. Back of thighs has improved. Back of ears no difference. So we know as a practitioner that this is a stubborn spot. And the right shin is doing very well. The psoriatic lesions are already less thick. Another three weeks later, he comes back. The fourth visit. The front of scalp has improved even more. Less red, more clean. The back. The redness and the lesion borders are the same, but he says it's smoother now and he doesn't scratch anymore. Unless he sweats. Back of thighs also improved. It's smoother. His back of ears have improved. It's less itchy and less scaly. I added one herb in there and it helped the back of the ears, but it took about six weeks to improve. In the ears, no more lesions. The right shin is already smoother, better. And no more joint pain, he sleeps better. He used to take a few minutes to get up. 
He had to warm himself up in the last six weeks or so, but right now he doesn't need to anymore. Somehow, because we're able to cool down his heat, he's also able to sleep better. He is able to dream more, which also tells us he's able to spend more time in REM state. I gave him a cream that would help him soften the psoriatic lesions. So he comes back about ooh, seven weeks later. Despite drinking five cans of beer on a vacation, his skin yes! held up.